Have you ever run into the situation where your stars look like this as a result of chromatic aberration? There's a quick and easy way to fix that. This image has been stacked, stretched, DBE, denoise, all the other stuff, but the point is it's in the stretched state here, although I'm pretty sure you could also do this in the linear state. And so what we're going to do is first extract the color channels out of this color image. So we're going to get the red, green, and blue components of this image. And then we're going to use the star alignment tool, the registration tool in PixInsight, to line up these three images, which is basically what your chromatic aberration is, is a slight misalignment of the three color channels caused by your optics. So um, that process is under, I just do all processes, star alignment. And, but instead of choosing a file, we're going to choose view. And I don't know if it particularly matters which one you register it to, but because we have the red and the blue off to each side, I'm going to have green be the reference frame. And then you go to add views and select your red and your blue channels. And don't need to set an output directory because we're just going to have that display to the screen and execute. Then we get our registered images. So now we're going to recombine those using channel combination. And we can just drag these registered views, clicking on the tab, over to the channel combination tool for red, green, and wherever my, here's my green. Alternatively, you can select the um, the image selection button here and select from the drop down which one of your images I grabbed. I grabbed did not grab the right one. I need the registered red and blue images and then the green one that we registered them to. And hit go. And we have our corrected image. So now you can see that the chromatic aberration has now disappeared. And that's all there is to it.